Hey guys, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. In the previous episode, we stole a stagecoach with Hosea, went hunting with Charles, and then I still feel very conflicted about that, but we ended up freeing Micah. There wasn't any other visible mission on the map, so I thought, why not? I did think that we were just going to sneak him out of jail very quickly, but also quietly. Instead, we shot up like 90% of the town's population. There's probably three people left in Strawberry and they all hate my guts. We stopped after Micah decided to get back to his own camp. He doesn't feel ready yet to get back to Dutch. I'm not really sure what we'll be doing today. I don't have any sort of plan, but I really want to visit the fence in Emerald Ranch since we unlocked that in the previous episode and now we can finally sell all these things we've been collecting so far but as usual before we get started i want to give a huge thank you to my channel members thank you guys for joining me for today's episode let's get into it Easy. um i don't think horses were made for this Even. hello there buddy <laughs> I love this game. I just never know what happens when I get on here. Stop right now. One more step. Whoa, and I shoot you dead. Say goodbye. What did I do? Why do they keep doing that to me? It's always one Arthur against like five Odriscolls and they always lose. And they never learn. Oh, don't do that. Lord, hey! Need a hand with your oh, horse? Hey, hey, come back! Oh no! I mean, should we help yep. or? Yeah. There you go. Hey, hey! Come on. Where's the stranger? He just oh, just keeps standing there. You're kind man. Oh, this is really nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please accept my thanks as reward. I won't forget this. Sure, Mister. You're so welcome, dude. I tell thee, and I tell whoa, thee whoa, now, whoa, whoa. eternity waits for us all. At which eternity? Hello? Help a blind man. Are you blind? We're gonna find out very quickly. A dollar hey, for some. your future. For your fate. You know what? He seems to be blind. Not like the guy in San Denis. Learn about tomorrow. Okay, here you are. Just as evil begat evil your whole life long, so good may beget good. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. That's all. Can I ask him any more questions? I have nothing more for you now. Go wow. use what you know. Don't end up. Yep. Like me. That was the most basic response he could have given to me. Saloon. Whoa. Nice.
Why is the saloon locked off? I guess it closed for some reason. Is that wine? Or not? Should I be worried? Hey, Seamus. Sell, buy, craft. What can we craft before we sell anything? Beaver Tooth Trinket. What does that do? Legendary Beaver Tooth? Let's get it, why not? Beaver Tooth Trinket permanently slows degradation for all weapons by 10%. Wait, well, that's actually really, really cool. Um. Bye. Bye. Stay safe and quiet now. Tomahawk. Machete. Bait beans. Oh, I see. A lock breaker. Hides your identity while committing crime. Executioner hood. Doesn't our mask already do that? Let's sell. Well, we can sell a lot of things. Even the, even the cards? No, I'm not gonna do that. Gold wedding ring can be sold for cash. Can be sold. Can be sold. See, okay, that's what I thought. Can be used in crafting or salt. So I'm not gonna touch the gold jointed bracelet, but I'm gonna sell all of these things. I hope if it says that it's able to be sold for cash that I can't craft anything with it. There we go. Can be sold for cash. That's a lot of money. A decent sized gold nugget can be sold to a fence. $25? I'd love to see it. Okay, not touching any cards. An elegant necklace lined with pearls. So am I able to sell it or not? A large bag of valuable jewelry can be sold for cash. $50?! I'm not gonna touch the necklace yet. Wow. We're making so much money. Can be sold. Can be sold. Can be sold for cash, right? We're at almost $900. That's insane. A pen given to Arthur by Jimmy Brooks. No, I, I cannot sell this. I like Jimmy too much for that. Can be used in crafting or salt, so I'm not gonna touch that. A valuable silver emblem ring can be sold for cash. Wow, $12 each. A large gold, a large gold bar can be sold to a fence. Five hundred dollars. Hello. That's that is insane. I have thousand and four hundred seventy-three dollars right now. This is shocking. Thanks, Seamus. Hello there. Pleased to see you. Hello. Hey, Bonnie. How much is Happy it? Happy to help you start over. $85. Really, Micah? Fuck. Okay, fine. Just to be it's honest, probably. It was all a big misunderstanding. It's probably gonna get way worse if I don't pay for it now. Micah, really? Quartz chunk. Be seeing you. What do I do with that? Used to craft a unique item at a fence. Oh. Okay. Got a cigarette card here. Almost didn't see it.
Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> Hello? Well, you look like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> Uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while. Now, we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided, then. I'm gonna go freshen up. You just wanted to loot the house? Uh, I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on, now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> I'll go open that bottle. I've never seen less trustworthy people in my life. But I really want to check this out. Hey, there he is. Come on in. Come on. Uh, I hope she ain't primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Go check on her, will you? Me? I'm sure I can Go loot this partner. place. She won't mind. She here. Would you just pop your head around the door? <laughs> or we won't be eating till Christmas. Okay. She's above. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't be mothering you like this. Just chomping at the bit, that's all. Huh. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. <gasps> well, look who it is. You are hungry, ain't you? <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> it's all right. Looking ain't a crime. Oh, that's not. You go on and have a seat at the table. I'll be down in a minute. Can I examine stuff here? Or is she gonna get mad? He uh, just asked me to check on you, that's all. Oh, you don't need to make any excuses. No siree. Yeah, I, I should probably go before I get real mean. <laughs> this house is so dirty. She, uh, be down in just a minute. Woohoo! That is what I like to hear. Hey, now pull up a chair, partner. He seems to be a little bit underdeveloped. Hey, pull <laughs> up a chair, partner. Yeah. What am I doing right well, now? Hey! Hey! Wait, this is just about perfect. God. One of them moments you wish could last forever. Well, like I said, uh, I can't stay for long. Then look at us. Don't like hit that. a died. couple of old friends. <laughs> oh, it's a short life, but a merry one. Here we are, all the fixings. I hope you boys left some room in your trousers. Mmm, that smells delicious. <laughs> Food don't smell too bad, neither. Oh, stop <laughs> it, you! How do you like it? Mm, it's good. Different. Why are you eating that, Arthur? Mm, mm, mm-hmm. That meat is so tender. Mm, you know what? This place used to be a pig farm when we was, when we was kids. Yeah. Before we lost our ma and pa. Our? Horrible business. Horrible. We still got each other, ain't that right, honey pie? And we still know how to have a <laughs> hog killing time. His there, face. There, that's for you. Yeah. There. Yeah. Mm. 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 I want to mm. leave. Where are my manners? <laughs> Drinks. Yeah, I could definitely use a drink. Or maybe not. Don't. Ooh. Whew. That stuff will put hair on your chest. Oh, I doubt he needs that. Let's loosen you up some more. 
Come on, honey. I can choose. Okay, I really want to leave. But I'm very curious. It'll get you warmed up nicely, believe me. What's gonna happen if I stay and drink? <laughs> I should... <laughs> okay. The game ah, just made the decision for me. What the hell is it's that? fate. It's an old Aberdeen home recipe. That one right there is in 1894. Well, feels like someone stabbing me in the head. Come yeah, we probably on. shouldn't. I thought I had a man here, not a boy. <laughs> one more, and you and I both will go upstairs and have a lie down. <laughs> I'd rather jump off a cliff. Ah, what the hell? <sighs> <laughs> Arthur! No uh, fucking way! Uh, oh shit. Oh, about time! I take whatever cash she has on her and put it behind mama. Yep. Huh? Oh. Oh, no! <laughs> They did not just take all the money that I just made. Um. Well, I can't see my horse. It's in calling range. Motherfuckers! Did y'all really throw me in a ditch? Five meters away from your house and expect me to not get back in there and kill you for that? They didn't take my inventory. Holy shit. They really are that stupid. Okay. You, Hello. You ain't. Oh, look who's coming. Right in the kneecaps. What? what the hell? Oh, it don't matter. I'll make sure you're dead this time. Alright. That was something. Search the house to recover your money. Why did they think that that was a good idea? That was like the dumbest shit they could have done. Did they say where they hit it? Because I don't remember. I was a little bit too distracted. Maybe it's in the chest? Armoire? Uh, six sons of bitches. There's nothing in there. Oh, premium cigarettes. Nice. Okay, it has to be in here. Everything family, Christmas 1878. So those are their parents. They definitely killed them. The crossed out faces and everything in the photo, they definitely killed them. Probably because they couldn't understand their love. <laughs> no way. Of course. Is it? Yeah, it's it's everything. Okay, great. 
I can't believe it, but we're back Move. in Strawberry after everything that happens. Okay, girl. Because I saw on the map that apparently they've got a bounty for me here. Me. What's the matter? Which is just super funny because last time I was here, I shot the sheriff in the face. So I'm really wondering how they're going to react to me. I can tell. If so, we got a poster on the wall just there. So there's definitely a new sheriff here. Joshua Brown. Hmm. Wanted forty dollars reward. Joshua Brown wanted alive. The notorious shootist wanted for unlawful killings. Brown is of medium build, dark skin, and long mustache. Last known whereabouts was north of Strawberry. Okay. Word Sounds is, doable. An old mine. On the wall, Josh Brown be a hard man to kill, let alone capture. And that's what we're asking for. We've got half the bounty hunters in the state out looking for him. I want your advice. I'll ask for it, okay? <laughs> okay. Joshua Brown. Give it to me. He's Boy, a killer. Sir. Got away with it for the most part, too. Legal kills. But if you walk that line, you're gonna step over it at some point, and that way he done. I just spilled my drink all over me. <laughs> Hello? Really? What is with you? I'm not talking to you because you won't talk to me. You won't, and it's not fair. How come? How come you get to make the choice and not me? Just leave me alone, will you? Is he talking to me or? This is. Exhausting. He's watching. He's always watching. He's never talking. They won't forgive you. Uh -uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. No. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well. What is going on? Happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why I'm out here well away from it. They come for me, but I'm watching. I never sleep. I never. I can do. tell. Well, that was weird. Whoa. The weirdest shit happens anytime I want to go anywhere. Shit! Shit! Hey, this here's a private financial matter, so why don't you keep right along? Who are hey, you? We said to scram. Why are you talking to me like that? Damn it! We want you! Well, let's see if this safe is worth the effort. Save. Um, someone said in the comments I can open safes with dynamite. 
There we go. Dynamite. And then I can just stick it? Or like, throw it there? I don't think I have to- Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I don't think I had to do that. At least you're free now. So how much is that? <laughs> Mine now. Oh, nice. Not bad. Oh, shit. That didn't go as planned. Now I gotta feed you again. Wait, you recovered already. I'm feeding you anyways. Eat this. Okay, my girl. Yep. So, I wanna get the bounty. <laughs> There's the horse. But there was a question mark here. Hello? Well, what's eating you, partner? Eating me? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll dry up. What? See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Yeah, well, me I'm sorry, neither. sport, huh? There's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. <laughs> now, it's sort of a puzzle thing of me. Huh, I know, thing it sounds me. ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. Little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly. Little rock carvings. What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Jazzed? Drunk? Are you? No. Huh, I wish. No, I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Well, I sort of need them. Hey, listen. If you find them, I'll pay you handsomely. Send me details, if you can. Here's my card. And if I can't? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. But I don't understand. <laughs> Why do you need these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. The what? I'm gonna have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you. It... Yeah, but, hey, what harm could it do? What a lunatic. What the hell? So we're now gonna search for rock carvings. What the hell? Can I go in here? Of course not. Easy, easy. Oh, shit. Can't see anything. Is he like way back in there? Dead in. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. I ain't here to kill you. <laughs> Wouldn't matter if you were. There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You really wanna you do this? You found me. But you won't beat me, bounty hunter. <gasps> Whoa! Ah, damn bounty hunter! Son of a bitch! Damn you! What the hell? <laughs> Get back here! No way. Tie up that shooting arm. Let's loot him first. That was uh not really worth it. Here we go. We're going back to strawberry. Yes, we are. You shot me. 
You didn't even have the decency to do it right. Yeah. You duel a man and you ought to put him down. Not knock him out and tie him up. You got no decency, bounty hunter. Okay. You wouldn't have got me in my younger days. Sure. I would have put one in the middle of your eyes before you even blinked. You ain't nothing special. You ain't gonna stay sharp for very long. All right. None of them. Take a nap, old man. <laughs> Can we take that bounty off of you? I can oh, manage. Shit. Jim, fine. Believe me, you don't want this one. You're dead, you son of a bitch. Why do they keep coming? You killed all those men. You're not better than me. That's not for us to decide, okay? I wish you killed me back there. A real man would have killed me. A real man wouldn't tie me like this. Really? A real man wouldn't take me in. That is not for you to decide, dude. I don't deserve this. I deserve to go out with some damn honor. I live by the gun, let me die by it, damn it. That's what, that's what I deserve, you damn sneak. You damn gut shooter. Wow. Those are some very big words. We're almost there, Grandpa. Someone else is killed. I bet you got a price on you too. Somewhere. No, you're actually no one wrong about like that. You do. Hasn't had some practice. Except for black Here water. we are. Strawberry. I hear the cells here are really comfortable. You trying to be winsome, bounty hunter? <laughs> Always. I'm a regular charmer. So come on. Got brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Downstairs. Downstairs. In here? I guess in here. That's his cell. It's got right his there. name on it. Forget about me. That's what I plan on doing. Now, leave me to my peace. What if I don't? You hear? I want peace. Back up those stairs with you. <laughs> they hate it when I don't leave. Anything to matter down below? No, oh, it's all good. So, where's my money? Pays right here. You make you work for it? He dueled me, so I'd say that's a yes. <laughs> Obliged. Thanks. Joshua Brown. Joshua Brown, a notorious gunslinger, is wanted for unlawful killings. A $40 reward is to be paid to anyone who apprehends him alive and returns him to Strawberry. See you later, new sheriff. <laughs> okay. There we are. I just traveled back to Emerald Ranch since we got another side mission here with the photographer guy. Hello. So, you're still alive. 
Mr. Morgan. How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. <laughs> How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks. Only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. Aww. You can smell my stupidity. <laughs> well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. Of course. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Come here, girl. Much appreciated, you know. So how do we do that? Let's go. Yeah. Right to the wild horses. Go. That bunny is holding on to dear life. to the open plains. Go on. Oh. Look pretty doing it. Move it. I see. Good mustang. Come on. Move it up. Get up. Go on. Now. I'll Keep moving. Come on. Come on, Use well. horses. Oh, we're almost there. We got this. Where are you going? <laughs> Thankfully, they all stay together. Now run! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Go on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep. You are a genius. No, but I can ride a horse. <laughs> well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they try to eat us. It's for you. That's Aww. real fun. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Will we see each other now again? for a few final checks. Aww. Don't mind me. I may be at this for some time. You know... Horses seem like a fine subject for you. You may be thinking about documenting animal life of the farmyard variety from <laughs> now on. <laughs> yes, you had me there. A wild horse is a different beast to his domesticated brother. Very good, very good. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Well, at least there's nothing out here that's likely to eat me. Don't there say that there. too loud. Well... I hope we'll meet again. Who's there? It's me. It's me. Mark. Good to see you back. I'm finally back at camp. Cuz I saw that we got a mission here. And I think it's with John actually. Yeah, John Marston. John needs to speak to you. There you are. What are you doing with them knives, my friend? Poisoning the tips. Why? Makes for a quicker kill. You could take down a bear with one of these. 
Oh, really? You hit it in the right spot. Interesting. Get me some oleander. I'll show you how to make some. Pretty easy. Thanks, Javier. Claro. Do we have any? All right, well, I should be getting on. Javier has asked for some oleander. Was good. I guess we don't have it. Money. Oh, you horrible man. Well, okay. you can't blame a fellow for trying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mary Beth. Every oh, uh, time, Uncle. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Happy to have Sean back. Yep. It'll never be quiet around here again. <laughs> Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, I'll Why don't What's you sit down here? instead of flitting about? Sure. Y'all want to talk Come about on, anything? Doctor. All right. Yep. Hey. Hello. Abigail? Abigail! Are you kidding me? Hey, Arthur! Hello. You play well. What's that down there? Uh, a letter? Oh shit, Dutch's speech notes. We lost people dear to us, but we are not lost. If I could throw myself into the ground in their place, I would, without a moment's hesitation, I would ten times over, but things don't work out like that. We must keep pushing. Pause. <laughs> are any of you ready to hang up your hats and admit defeat? It isn't time yet to let things wither and die, all those dreams we had. It is not time, because that is about all we have and about all anyone has. Dreams, faith courage ideas makes me who i am that choice is what makes me a man makes me an angel and not a monkey so ask yourself what is a man and there you have your answer walk like a man who believes in the freedom of his own mind believes in his god know there is a heaven or hide up a tree like a godforsaken monkey then say something else about freedom that quote of miller's the whole point of america is freedom etc <laughs> I love to see it! Ooh! Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. You shouldn't leave these around here. That is a little bit embarrassing. I thought his speech was really good at like the very beginning of the game, but now I understand what's happening here. This guy is practicing. Hey, John. You've got a you mission want? for me. Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down right. through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border. 
north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. All right. Wagons that can be stolen for John are blipped with... Ah, okay. I see. Wait. What is going on here? I just saw something else. Micah. Nah. -uh. Wow! Would you look at that? Good job. Oh, <laughs> hey there. How's it going? Well, it ain't going at all. What? Why? We're broke. We're about ready to call it quits, to be honest with you. Listen, I... I, I, I hate to ask. I have but, money. Uh, is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish? Sure. Well, Except. I ain't promising nothing, but I'll see what I can do. There's a logging camp over in Big Valley, pretty much straight west of here, that might have lumber for sale. Ah. Castor's Ridge Homestead. Hey, over here! Oh, I really need your help, friend. Again. I know. Really? Listen, I know what this looks like. But uh, you've got to help me out again. Man, come on, please. Again, last time I shot you in the foot, so hopefully this time it's not gonna happen. Yes. Stop yes. moving. Oh, yes, yeah. praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you. I tell you, friend, I'm about more broke than last time, but, well, I heard something you might like. Well, some drunk's been hoarding his money in this little place south of Rhodes down by the river. A lot of money and very drunk. At least that's what they say. Oh, I look Ooh. like a thief or something? Or something, maybe. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. Boy. American Foxhound. You're cute. Hello. Hey there. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head foreman. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? Wait, <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine? We're starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Sure. What do you need? Go take this. And this. I'm not really using much of any of that. Appreciate it. Do you need anything else? Nice to help keep us going. Still supplies to the foreman for profit. Okay. So I can't. I'm leaving. Don't work too hard. There ain't much danger of that with this bunch, my friend. I see. So I can't get it yet. I gotta wait. Stop right there! Or I'll shoot you! Who are you? Stop! Hey, jump down off that horse! I ain't for asking! Oh, it's a Talking now, huh? Freaking losers. This is my bridge. Fuck off. Enemy look 
finding that lumber for us? Nope. Not at all. But I can give you some money. No lumber, but I guess I can lend you some money. All right. Here you go. But you best not be playing me for a fool. Oh, I ain't, mister. I swear. This is a good cost. I'll be back later for what you owe me. I'll have it just as soon as we manage to sell this place off. I'm done with this. Looks like you're almost done. I sure hope so. God, I can't wait to get out of here. Oh, no. So, yeah. Can I walk in here? Looks like you're almost there. We might actually finish this thing. Yep. Can I buy this house? Looks pretty cozy. Well, don't feel you have to hang around on my account. Okay, so I'm glad we gave yep. them the money. Because apparently the whole lumber situation is just not working out, so I'm kinda scared that. I'm gonna miss the time frame where I can give them the resources they need, you know? So I decided to just give them the money. Mickey? Who said that? Can I get a few cents? Oh, Mickey. Hey, buddy. Nice to see hey, you again. Buddy. <laughs> Can I get a buck, mister? Sure. Sure. I don't want to see any Thank more you. From oh, you. thank you, mister. Yeah. He's not going to say anything this time? Oh. All right, Mickey. Hopefully see you later. So many horses. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Hey! What the hell? Who are you? Yep, yep, yep. Horse, follow me! Where do we go? <laughs> oh, we go here? Alright, well I'm not going back there. We gotta find another way. Come on, give us another path. Yeah. Finally. Do we need both of them? Because that would be pretty shitty. Here? Okay, back up a bit. got this Arthur you know what the horses are doing that to themselves it's not yep. me. come on finally Yeah. I hope we don't need both. Tell John back at camp the wagon is in position. Deliver the wagon to the drop off within one minute and 45 seconds. That would be pretty much impossible. Arthur steals an oil wagon to use in the train job being planned by John. What is this? That is 
pretty creepy. Cigarette card. That is a very intentional set of matches. Nothing else? Be gone premium cigarettes. There we go. Now I can take it. The match is pointed here, but I'm not seeing anything. Hidden stash? <laughs> Fifty dollars? That's nice. Okay, I see. I probably wouldn't have noticed that at all if i haven't seen the matches that is super cool help me help me please what is it hands up now hey you best damn well Sorry, lady. I truly wanted to help you. Wow, she had a cart. Sorry. Excuse me. No, you don't. Stop right there, god damn it. Are you hearing me? Damn it. You think I'm joking? Come on, horse. Yeah. Come on, horse. We gotta stop here. Come on. better stop okay okay you still want to be a witness huh you better stop you're not leaving me any other choice okay another one this can't be true You're still alive! Damn it! That is not how things were supposed to go. At all. Why does this keep happening to me? Nuh-uh, you're not gonna do that. Excuse me! Sir. Hey! This is a big mistake! I Okay. Nice. Yeah. Great. It wasn't me. The things I have to do here. I just killed like three people. And apparently. Witness investigating. Wait. Okay, okay. They... They know it was me. Why? Yeah. 
I can't keep killing people, okay? You've got to stop. Hey, not so fast! Oh no, you don't! You Witness disturbing the peace! Or else. Be well for you. I forget it. Just get out of here. You looking to get your jaw broken? Ain't you? Don't you test me. I'ma blow your head off. <laughs> okay. Can we stop? John, I'm back. What's this? Why don't you sit, Arthur? You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? <sighs> Our world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. <laughs> this their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur, what a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just realistic about what's coming. But I keep acting really crazy. <laughs> what? I don't know. Arthur, you're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. I ain't that the truth. I ain't that the truth. These two would be really cute together. Ah, oh, you seem busy. We gotta get some food soon, Arthur. Food or money. Or these bastards will eat up. I know, Dutch. I'm trying. I know. Well, we do have food, don't we? Well, <laughs> you've been up to much, have you? Not really. We're gonna run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Yeah, okay. Very there you good. go. We were getting low. Not the best quality. Oh, shut up, Pearson. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Evening, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> you heard any good jokes? Hi, Pearson. Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> well, you fancy sharing it with me? No. Oh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I won't want to be stuck in the wilderness with you, Charles. I've had more fun well, watching the grass grow. <laughs> Please, go watch it. <sighs> you know, someday you will warm up to me. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Hey, Uncle. What you got going on? Nothing much. Hey, 
Hey. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. For what? Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. Yeah. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. I wanted to talk to Sadie. Not to you. Okay, I'll catch you later then. I guess. My lady? Evening. How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. Damn, okay. So, John. It's quite here if you want. Evening. You gonna help out around here? Jesus, you never let up, do you? Just do your share, okay? Whatever you say. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. And <laughs> you'll be a genius. <sighs> I think this will have some consequences. Because we can't just seal that whole thing without anyone caring. I hear you saved Mr. Bell from a hanging. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. I'm not sure All about that. Together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Miss Grimshaw. Good evening, Arthur. So we're working on a plan for that train you told me about. Oh, I was wondering about that. It sounded worth a look. For sure. You did good. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, then. So silly. Arthur has Mary, like the one we saw in Valentine. And then he has Mary Biff in camp. And they both seem like love interests, right? Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. Oh, hi. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please. Okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. John is a pretty horrible father, as it seems. <laughs> Are you well, sir? Sure. Very, uh, well. Speak to you, huh? Hey, Jack. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. How does... Just some fish. Yeah. How does he have a fishing pole and I don't? Jose, what the fuck? I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Oh. That is not mine. That was the whole plane. <laughs> Alright. Hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, 
I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. <laughs> a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Oh. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Jack has asked for a penny dreadful book. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Yeah. Load up. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? Here. Yeah. You can't fish without a pole. First, there we go. We need some bait. Cheese. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Blue, gill, and bed. rock bass. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? There! Got him! Is it a big one? Did you see him fighting there, Jack? That's Stop you fighting! Be careful, you, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. I see. Okay. Look, Jack! It's a rock <laughs> bass. Yeah, it's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Oh, wow. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I like the look of that spot. Fish attracted to the bait will often nibble before taking a bite. Okay. Whoop, I think I got one. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. There you go. This one's a bluegill. Ooh. <laughs> Not bad. I'm gonna keep him. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Oh. I know. Boring as hell. But then something happens. Food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, and wait, and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? 
I guess. Hmm. I'm gonna try my luck over there. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. There we go. Got one, Jack. Get your ass over here. What are you making there? Oh, this one's a bit bigger, I think. It's a surprise. You still all right over there? I'm fine. Just want to catch one more. Then we'll call it a day. There we go. This one's bigger. Small mouth bass. Nice. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? Oh. This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Oh. Nice to finally meet. You know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For I can't me? pay that. Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. I was about Good to day, say Mr. that. Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> you can shoot them right now. Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. You should have shot them. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Yep. Uncle Duchess. <laughs> because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Yep. 
Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. We're back. Three. Necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, um, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? We gotta move, probably. I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. But they were so close to finding you. Corner. We survived the mountains. We just need to stay calm. I think it's better if we move. Alright guys, I'm gonna be stopping this episode here. I think we had a pretty good mix of main story activities today, but also a lot of side stuff. I'm really glad I got sidetracked today, so I ended up going to these pig farmers. I just wanted to see what that house was and if I could loot it and then all of that happened, which is insane. Like, this is not even a main story mission, but it kind of felt like it because it was so elaborate. Fishing with Jack was so much fun, although I think he didn't really enjoy it as much as I did but now I finally have the option to go fishing anywhere I want to. I'm really worried about those two Pinkerton detectives. They know that we are there and Dutch was like three meters away from there so I really think we should move the camp but apparently Dutch seems to have another opinion on that. I don't know. I think in the next episode we might be robbing a train. At least I think everything's prepared for that now, so I am very much looking forward to that and I cannot wait to continue playing. Thank you guys for watching and for continuing to join me on this journey. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!